Cobra Commander 788 here, and of course I couldn't leave you for a week without something to watch. So this is a quick shot of the 1990 G.I. Joe Jungle Assault Specialist Pathfinder. I have some well-documented problems with figures from the 90s, but they weren't all bad, and Pathfinder was one of the better ones. Uh, they had gotten a little bit back to the more realistic military figures, although they weren't completely realistic. Uh, they were slightly better, but they were still trying to brighten up the colors a little bit. Now, mind you, in the 90s, they did quickly spin back off into La La Land, but there were a few good ones in the mix there, uh, and Pathfinder is really not that bad. He has some very interesting accessories, including one really weird one. He has a weed whacker uh, that is connected to his backpack with a black hose, and his backpack also has a couple ammunition belts that run to his machine guns, which are mounted on his hips. So there's going to be a lot uh, to talk about regarding his uh, accessories, very interesting accessories with this guy, and some interesting features on the figure, including a head sculpt that I really like. I think that's very well done. And a two-color camouflage pattern, and that was very rare. We almost never got that on G.I. Joe action figures. There is so much going on with this figure. I look forward to doing a full review in the future, but this is just a quick look at him for now. This video should publish while I am in Loveland, Colorado for Joe Con. Uh, so there will not be another full review until next weekend. Uh, but I hope this satisfies you for now, and I look forward to getting back with you guys next week. So stay tuned and subscribe for more full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.